Now, in the previous video, I said I was going to show you um, three things with random. I'm actually going to show you four. So there's a couple here, which can also be quite useful. Random.uniform will produce uh, some random numbers between these two numbers here, but in decimals. And this random.sample will, we used this range uh, before. So this will give us a range, just numbers, uh, you know, um, between zero and 99, and it will give us five of those numbers. So it'll just pick a random sample of five numbers from zero to 99. So if we run this, what we get is 63.57, yada, yada, yada. And then one, two, three, four, five numbers from that range just there. So again, it could be useful, you know, when you come to write programs to be able to see that code and understand what it's doing, or maybe even be able to create your own random numbers from a, a, a selection or from a range of numbers. Now, there is a way um, that you can truncate. We've looked at how we can truncate that. So we could, if we don't want all these extra numbers on the end, we could use the truncate feature that we saw earlier on in the math library. Or if we were just wanting to display this um, as a number, we could convert it to a string and then just print a certain number of characters, thereby ditching, you know, these extra numbers. So if we just wanted 63.57 or 63.5, we could convert that to a string, print it again, um, and, and just print the first, you know, three or four characters. So I'll let you go and figure out how to do that if that's something you're interested in. It's beyond the scope of this tutorial. I just wanted to point out to you that it does give you a lot of numbers after the decimal point, but you don't have to live with that. There are ways, you know, that you can prevent that from um, displaying that on the screen in that manner.